You know what sucked even worse than my high school days? First of all, nothing. But seriously, like, after you've been out for a couple of years, you really kind of start to miss it. Like, I definitely don't miss the school. And I don't miss Mrs. Breckenridge at all. But you kind of start to miss the people you were around. Especially the friends I had my senior year. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and uh, uh, come together here now. Remember what we were talking about last week? Uh, your projects are due the week before. In finals. terms of... Uh, uh, teachers, Neil was far and away my favorite. Like there were some times when you were just dying to help him when he was stumbling over a word. The uh, uh, camera? Camera. Spicoli always sat right beside me. He was a pretty nice guy. Actually a lot nicer than most California guys I know. But the guy did say bro a lot. Hey bro, can I borrow a pen? Uh, yeah, sure, man. Hey, bro. Can I borrow some paper, too? Slick always said he wanted to make his mark on school grounds. Yeah, he always made his mark. About five or six minutes into class. What up? Uh, in terms of... Uh, Did I miss anything? In terms of... You know, I'm not a big fan of talking in class, but the last thing I want to hear, if I'm making the smallest little amount of noise, is Harry snapping his fingers at me from the front row. Hi! Hi. The Harry love the poopies? Donna would always keep us on our toes with a uh, disgusting new gag toy about every week. The laughter soon subsided, but the humor long remained. You know, I was at the store the other day and I actually caved in and bought one of these things. God. How can you resist though? The poop comes up. People always wondered if Lincoln would show up to class. You know what? He did, every time. On time? No. Oh man, I thought class was in the lab today. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a seat. Webster's Dictionary defines mommyitis as the condition of or longing to bear children in great excess. June over there is a self proclaimed mommyitis victim, even from an early age. I just want to get married and have lots of babies and be a good mom. That is so cute. Unreal. Feldman and Brittany... Feldman and Brittany were happy. And, you know, that's the tall and short of it. Hey, dude. I checked out that uh, Virgin Suicides movie you told me about. I didn't really like it. I thought the story was flawed. What? Ronald would sit in front of me. Hair, he had galore. If one may judge by the vast number of times I couldn't see the chalkboard. Anyway, he was a great guy. He'd do anything for you, but I learned real quick what not to say no, to him. you don't understand. No. Dude, dude, all right. I, I'm, I'm just kidding. I liked it. I thought it was good. Gosh, you know, graduation came so quick that year. Flew by. And now, all those people are out of my life. Probably for good, too. They all seem to have a really good handle on what they wanted and, you know, where they were going and... I'm not really in a position to judge whether they were right or they were wrong. You know what? I don't buy into the philosophy of uh, you don't know what you got till it's gone. I, I don't know. I think I'm better off having known those people. You know? No matter how quirky or weird they are. And I think memories are good. But if for some reason our paths do happen to cross again someday, well, Lord Jesus, have mercy.